Also in Grand Haven, people there in one area are on a mission to get people to slow down. In fact, the people there say it's so bad they call a stretch of road in Ottawa County a racetrack. Oxfam's Matt Wicko spoke with people living there and brought their concerns to police. Matt? Yeah, summer is almost here, which means more people are heading out to the beach. We've all seen those slow down signs in neighborhoods, but on this drive out in Grand Haven, there seemed to be more than I'd seen before. So I did some digging to learn about what's going on. One weekday evening commute. Nothing much to see. Except these signs on Grand Avenue in Grand Haven. They read, not your racetrack, it's our neighborhood. I'd say easily above 50, maybe even approaching 60 miles an hour down this road. Just this stretch to the top of the hill. In less than a mile, one sign after another, after another, in total seven, asking people to slow down. Calling out to people that are driving through, please don't. Please just don't use this as a drag race. This is our neighborhood. This is where we, where we live, where we choose to live, and we want you to slow down. Tim Reeves has lived on this road for a few years, often walking his dog down to the beach. There's this drag race effect that occurs along here where a lot of people come around the corner, they're heading out to the beach because they're cruising, and they just gun it. And the speeds that they get up to are, uh, they would be fatal for anybody that stepped out into the road. That stretch of road right before the beach has a 25 mile per hour speed limit. You can get a string of eight tuner cars that race up and race down in a line. I've never seen anybody go side by side in the race, but they just are going at a, a speed that they shouldn't be traveling down that road. Grand Haven police telling Fox 17 they know about the complaints. They also say a study was done years ago and at the time didn't show that speeding was an extensive problem in the area. So we talked about a variety of solutions, uh, anywhere from more crosswalk signs to installing speed bumps uh, to maybe a reduction in speed. Uh, we were given pretty good answers uh, as to why they couldn't do that for some of those features and just really wanted to get more of a local law enforcement look at what was going on along Grand Avenue with all the speeding. Grand Haven police add they do put police out there during certain times to monitor the area and issue citations, something Reeves hopes to see more of. Just make an awareness, maybe pull one or two of them over, let them know that they can't do that. Just a presence would allow us to feel safer if it just controlled and slowed the group down as a whole. Several people say they deal with more than people speeding. They add people often rev up their engines as loud as they can. Just a reminder, Grand Haven does have a noise ordinance in place and speeding does come at a cost. Here's a breakdown of those fines and points added to the licenses from Ottawa County's website. Those start at $105. Once someone gets 12 or more points on their license within a two year period, they have to undergo a driver assessment re-examination. In studio, I'm Matt Whitkos. Fox 17 News.